Now we move to section 3. We will deal with repositories and e-portfolios. In this section, we are going to take a look at enabling a repository, working with a repository, enabling an e-portfolio, working with the e-portfolio, embedding the e-portfolio in the Moodle course. In the first video of this section, we will deal with enabling a repository. In this video, we are going to take a look at defining a repository, managing repository, enabling Google Drive, getting the client ID and secret from Google. First of all, we will define a repository. The repository can be thought of a storage area from which users can retrieve files to add to their course. This is the definition that we can find in the model.org website because we want to know what a repository is when we want to add a file or an image from outside to our Moodle course that is a repository so we will enable Google Drive that is to say if we store things from Google Drive we don't need to have our computer when we upload the material we can do it from anywhere just entering to our Google Drive account so we enter our Moodle course and to enable Google Drive repository we scroll down and under Site Administration, we will click on Plugins. Within Plugins, we will find Repositories. Under Repositories, we will click on Manage Repositories. Here, there are some default repositories which are already enabled. So, these are Embedded File, File Service, Recent Files, the ones that we can see that say enabled and visit and visible. Now we have other quite a lot of repositories to enable which are disabled. First of all, before enabling these repositories, we need to have an account in each of them. In this case, we will deal with Google Drive. So we we'll click on the downward arrow next to it and we click on enabled and visible. There are some steps that we have to follow in order to enable it. We need to get an, a client ID and a secret. So, here it says to use this plugin, we must register your site with Google as described in the documentation Google OO 2.0 setup. So, we click, we open a new tab and here we have how to do to get the client and the ID and the secret. So we need to go to Google Developers Console and we're going to go here. We need to have a Google account before, as I already said before. So as I already have an account, I sign in and here I can follow the steps in order to get secrets and the client ID. In order to get what we need, we click on Credentials and here we are going to click on O Constant Screen. We need to write a product name shown to users. In this case, I have written Repositories and we scroll down and we click on Save. We click on Credentials and on the downwards arrow and we click on O, Auth Client ID. We click on Web Application. We click on Create. We are given a client ID and the secret. So we click on the Copy button. It is copied. We go to the Moodle course. We click on Client ID, we paste it, we go to here your client secret, we click on Copy, it is copied, we go to Moodle course and we paste it. Now we are going to click on Save. The repository is enabled and visible, as we can see here. 